this law is slightly tricky. So, this is law of multiple proportion. The statement is when two elements combine to form more than one compound, the different masses of one element that combines with the fixed mass of other element are in the ratio of small whole numbers. Let's take an example. Sulfur is reacting with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide. Same sulfur is reacting with same oxygen to form sulfur trioxide also. So these are two different reactions in which two elements, the same elements, are combining in different ratios to form different products. So what is the law of multiple proportion? When two elements, two elements, sulfur and oxygen, they combine to form more than one compound, more than one compound is two different compounds, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. Then if you see in this reaction, in these two reactions, what are the masses? In first one, one gram sulfur reacting with one gram oxygen. In the second one, one gram sulfur is reacting with 1.5 gram oxygen. So uh, what you what we see here that the masses of sulfur, mass of sulfur in both the reactions is constant, same. What is the difference? Difference is in the masses of oxygen. In first one it is 1, in second one it is 1.5 gram. So, the different masses of one element, one of the two elements is oxygen, which has different masses. That means we are talking about right now oxygen. The different masses of one element that combines with the fixed mass of other element. Different masses of oxygen are combining with fixed mass of Sulfur are in, are in the ratio of small volume. That means we are talking about the ratio of that element which is combining with the fixed mass of other elements. So here oxygen is combining with the fixed mass of sulfur as you can see in both the mass, masses of sulfur is 1 gram and 1 gram. So here the oxygen is the element which is combining with the fixed mass of sulfur in both the two reactions. So the ratio of oxygen, the masses of oxygen in two different reactions should be a simple whole number according to the law of multiple proportion. So again, the two elements, when two different elements combining two different reactions to form two different or more different compounds, then the masses of that, the different masses of that element which is combining with the fixed mass of other element are always in ratio of small whole number. Let's like see the ratio. What is mass of sulfur oxygen in first one? This one now. What is the mass of oxygen in second one? It is 1.5 gram. So the ratio is? Yeah. To ratio 3. This is a ratio of small whole numbers. 2 is a whole number, 3 is also a whole number. So it is a ratio of small whole number. And this is the law of multiple proportions. That is, when two elements combine to form more than one compound, the different masses of one element that combines with the fixed mass of other element are in the ratio of small whole number. Let's take another example of similar type, but this time let's take uh, oxygen and hydrogen. Yeah, oxygen and hydrogen. Hydrogen combines with oxygen to form what? Yes, water. But can you tell me another compound which is formed by the combination of oxygen and hydrogen? This hydrogen plus oxygen. Yes, hydrogen peroxide. It is H2O2. Oh, two. two different compounds which are formed by combination of hydrogen and oxygen. One is water which is very important for life while other is hydrogen peroxide which is poisonous. Two different compounds give two different properties. That's cool. Now, let's see this. From the reaction of the two different, from the equation of the two different reactions, it is clear that in both of the reaction, mass of hydrogen is same because one molecule of hydrogen here, one molecule of hydrogen here, that means the mass of hydrogen in both the reactions is constant. What is that? The first one, the molar mass of hydrogen molecule is yes, 2 grams. 
the second one again it is because only one hydrogen molecule so it is also one gram that means the mass of hydrogen is constant and in this one I have this is so the mass of molar mass of one oxygen is 32 gram yeah 32 gram so uh, in balancing we have multiplied O2 by 1 by 2 because on the product side there is only one oxygen so will be half of 32 that is 16 grams in first one 2 gram of hydrogen is taken with 16 gram oxygen while in second one 2 gram of hydrogen is reacting with 32 gram of oxygen now the mass is the ratio of the mass different masses of one element that is combining with the fixed mass of other element that means oxygen here should always be simple whole number ratio let's see what is the ratio 16 ratio 32 16 ratio 32 that means 1 ratio 2 again it is a simple whole number ratio this satisfy the law of multiple proportion should we take another example of similar kind let's take another one uh, this time we will uh, talk about um, carbon yeah. carbon carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide the same com elements combine to form another compound do you know what is that yes this is carbon monoxide again if you see in both the reactions equation mass of carbon is only one molecule or atom of carbon that means it is 12 gram here and 12 gram in this one also what is the difference difference in masses of oxygen here it is again 32 gram by half is the special property constant so it will be 16 here and again the ratio is 32 ratio 16 which is again 2 ratio 1 which is a whole number ratio whole number ratio so the two elements are combining to form more than one compound one is carbon dioxide another is carbon monoxide then the ratio of that element different masses then the ratio of different masses of one element which is combining with the fixed mass of carb, another element that means we are talking about uh, masses of oxygen so it is the ratio is 32 ratio 16 which is again 2 ratio 1 which is a simple whole number ratio and this was the law of multiple proportion this is an important uh, law I hope it is clear to you and in our next video we will discuss law of constant proportions. Thank you.